Today, we are finding out if opening Pokemon packs backwards gives you better luck. The way this video is going to be formatted is we're gonna go back and forth. One open regular, one open backwards. And at the end of this video, we are gonna come to a conclusion whether or not you should open your packs regularly or straight up backwards. To start out, I'm gonna show you how to open up a pack backwards. You literally just flip it around and then you just click it and then just like that, you could, if you wanted to, reveal your cards this way. The one thing about doing it this direction is you can't peek at <gasps> at your cards as easily. This is not scripted, by the way. We had back-to-back -back Charizards while opening it backwards. Okay, you know what? That's gonna be hard to beat. But yeah, that was our first pack, and I was stumbling over my words, but hey, whoa. Okay, that was one of the few Charizards that we were actually missing. But now to open up a pack regularly. Should we peek? Oh, nothing. Wow. Okay, so that is one point for Team Backwards. Next, let's go to Pikachu. I'm missing quite a few cards out of this um, pack. So let's hope we get one of the really cool alternate arts. Not only are we going to open this one backwards, but we're randomizing it. All right, here we go. The last one had back-to-back -back Charizards. But again, the one thing that is difficult about the backwards is you can't peek ahead. So keep that in mind. Uh, flip. Oh, Blastoise. No way. Okay. Mean Fu and Ekans. Okay. This one was a letdown for sure. But let's see if the regular opening can take it. This is technically pack number four. We have also never pulled a gold card. Throughout the entirety of me playing this game, I've seen quite a few people pull them. Unfortunately, I'm not one. Okay. Well, um, yeah, this one is probably a tie. I think technically the backwards one was better, but no points there. I know I shouldn't be judging it based on how cool the cards are, more so the use case, but you know, I'm just biased. So back to being backwards. Here we go. Comment below. Do you open your packs backwards? Oh, Gyarados. Okay. Eevee. And a Seedra. And an Ekans. Okay. You know what? Gyarados is like half a point. Let's see the response. Here we go. The game can't fake us out by starting us out with two Charizards back to back and then give us nothing the rest of this video. There's something in here. Oh, it's not anything crazy. Jolteon. I mean, technically, this is another tie. I'm pretty sure they were both the same rarity. And same rate to be pulled as well. All right, we're gonna switch off Pikachu. You're not helping out our video here. <laughs> All right, on to Mewtwo. I wanna get the Gengar card in this set. It is so cool. All right, what if I flip them all over backwards? Ah, eh, that will take too long. This is the one right here. You know what? I'm opening from the right side. Trust, trust. Come on. Ah, uh, right on. Farfetch'd. Wheezing. Bro. This means that if there is a rare in the regular pack, it is going to be tied up. It's still just 1-0, and I'm kind of just wasting away my gold for this video. But hopefully you guys are enjoying this. Make sure you do subscribe and let me know if you want to see more pack openings, because I'm enjoying these. Here we go. The regular pack. Oh, there's something back there. So immediately, this is already a point for team regular. Bulbasaur, Bulbasaur, Tentacruel. What could this be? I don't know. That looks amazing. Marowak EX. So tied up one to one. I think in our heads, we could obviously come to the conclusion that it's gonna be the same chances to pull the cards, whether you open it backwards or forwards. I don't know, man. Sometimes luck has a different story. Whatever you gotta do, if you gotta spin around three times, open them upside down. I've seen some wild theories out there on what works and what doesn't. All right, you know what? I'm gonna blindfold myself, okay? Open this one backwards. Here we go. I have to be able to see. Nice. All right, here we go. Uh, didn't sound great. What did I get? Oh, nothing. Well, uh, don't do that. Just for consistency, we'll do Charizard again. So here we go. First pack, please. Nothing. I mean, technically this is a point, but it doesn't feel earned. It's not that great of a card. But moving forward, I feel like the margins are going to be so small that we're just going to award points, even if it's just a tiny bit better. So that is technically now putting regular openings in the lead. All right, on to Pikachu. Time to open you backwards. Let's go. Please be good. Please be good. No. Sizzlepede, Grapplock, and Seeking. All right, here's our regular pack. Oh, 
Wait, is that another Pikachu? What could it be? Voltorb and... <gasps> well, that's definitely a point for Team Regular. I'm pretty sure this was like a 0.03%. 0.5. Oh, that is sick. Oh, look at this Zapdos card. Jeez. Again, I'm searching for this Gengar right here. So let's continue on with Mewtwo. Let's switch up the order. So now we're going to do regular and then backwards. All right. Here goes nothing. Ooh. Salazzle, Rhyhorn, Golurk, Codney, Mr. Mime, and nothing. Okay. Maybe it's the order at which we open that matters. Next up, we got the backwards pack. Wait, does that shine mean it's good? You see, like, the effects there? I'm still new to this game, by the way. <gasps> yep, that's what it means. That's definitely what it means. Pidgeot, let's go. And with that, that definitely means we are going to have a backwards win here, which puts it the score at 2-3. The comeback is real. All right, we need something else to go for. Makes the video 10 times more interesting. So, out of this one... Ooh, how about this Pikachu alt art there? And I wouldn't be mad at a gold card, but that's pretty obvious. Starting off regular. Let's see. Magikarp. Ooh, wait. Is this the Pikachu card we were just looking at? Oh, no! It's the Wigglytuff EX! A two-star! Wow! This is going back and forth, but now the backwards packs are gonna have trouble making a comeback here. We're almost at 1,000 cards collected, by the way. 997. All right, Wigglytuff is a nice pull. Let's go. All right, flip it around. Can it beat it? I mean, we already saw that it... <gasps> Back-to-back -back Wigglytuffs. We saw that it didn't sparkle, so technically, this is already a lost battle. But pretty similar, even though it did lose. So it's 4-2, to two, but the margins are actually not as big as I would have thought. And we just passed 1,000 cards collected. I think we completed a few missions by having 1,000 cards. So definitely helps us out a little bit there. But now, where it's going to get interesting is we're now going to open up 10 packs using each method. I think we should go with the Mewtwo. Starting out, opening them backwards. So here we go. Opening 10 packs backwards. And it's going to be kind of impossible to keep track of which 10 are better. Oh, so I just figured out you can't open 10 at a time backwards. So... We'll just do one set of 10. You learn something new every day. Let's see if our luck is actually going to be good here, though. All right. Nothing behind. Tentacle, Bisharp, Zubat. Really? Okay. Another question is, is it better to open... <gasps> what is that? I need to get better at learning what the cards look like. Him on Lee, Slowpoke, Codney, Articuno. I'm pretty sure we already have this. Yeah, we do. Okay. I wish it was something else, but we take those. <gasps> just like we take a Cubone. So cute. We didn't have it. All right, this pack of 10 is actually treating us pretty well. I'm a little disappointed that I kind of just wasted all my gold because I thought you could open them backwards, but hey, it's okay. This is only our second video on the new mobile game. So cut me some slack. And unfortunately, ending it off with nothing there. Star of the show was definitely the Cubone since we didn't have it. And we're rapidly approaching every single card that's available in this game. And I have a feeling that the only ones we're gonna be missing for a good long time is gonna be those gold cards but back to the task at hand which is backwards versus regular so here we go backwards choose that one here we go oh you saw the shine that means this is guaranteed to be something right absolutely it is that is a one star slow poke tangela erica all right and i don't even know how you say this pokemon pukinukin I'll look it up uh, before I make the next video. <laughs> the regular opening is going to have to have something insane out of here. At least the two star. Otherwise, it's going to backwards. Here we go. Let's see it. Oh, no shine. Yep. All right. So again, it's back and forth, back and forth. So if we're learning anything, it's pretty much that doesn't matter, really. Let's keep flying through these. Here we go. Backwards pack. All right. Nothing there. Tangela. Double, Froki, and another one. This is not looking good for Team Backwards. I'm calling it. This has a Charizard inside. 1,000%. Watch. Charmeleon. Um, Himachan. And they both were trash. All right. So no points there. I'm going to close my eyes and stop. 
And we're opening up this. Pikachu. All right. Starting off backwards. Here we go. Come on. Did you hear that sound effect? Does that mean it's guaranteed to be good? Please, please. Oh, so cute. Look at the Squirtle. That might be my favorite artwork in the entire game. That's going to be pretty hard to beat. If the regular pack has nothing in it, this is going to tie things up. So here we go. Double. Man, I wanted there to be some competition, but it's now tied at four apiece. We're going to go until, let's say, six points. Who's going to take it? Uh, This time, we're switching it up again. Regular pack. Let's go. Give me that alt art Pikachu. Psyduck. Ooh. I mean, a Raichu's nice. Why does he look ugly here? He looks weird. I mean, at least it's a new uh, card we did not have. But if this pack is insanely good, this will now mean that backwards pack openings is one point away from winning this video. It doesn't look great. Pinsir, Rapidash, Browsy, Voltorb, and Geodude. So technically the regular pack won that. We'll give it a point, but in order for them to win, it has to be by a large margin. I want to see a rare at least. All right, we're doing Charizard packs. Let's go. Starting off regular opening. Here it goes. And there's nothing. All right, get this out of my face. But now for the moment of truth. Is there anything in here that could take the dub? Wow. It's another tie. Trash. <laughs> Actual garbage. But this next one has a Charizard in it, guaranteed. Starting off with the regular. Ooh. Wait. Team backwards actually could just take the lead here and just win it. All right, here goes nothing. Uh, okay, slow bro. Sizzle bead. Radicate. And a blame. These have been trash after trash after trash. Okay, maybe it knows I'm just spending a ton of money on this game. So they just want me to spend more. Uh, okay. Well, we're switching off uh, Charizard. It ain't working. Regular pack right here. Come on. Switch up the luck for us. We started off insanely hot. Regular pack. Onyx. Doduo. Diglett. Zapdos EX. All right. Well, if this backwards opening is not better than a Zapdos EX, then regular openings are officially better than backwards, which I kind of agree. It saves you time. You don't have to flip it around. It also builds suspense if you do it the way it's uh, designed. But here goes nothing. There has to be something in here. Oh my goodness. Well, unfortunately, just like that, opening packwards is officially worse than opening them regular. But to end off this video, we're gonna open up, let's do 10 Charizard packs for the content. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you do subscribe and let me know what I should do next. If you guys wanna see me actually play the game, keep opening. Also, comment below what the effects mean, because as you saw, I think it was the fifth pack here, there was something uh, shiny. And what is this? That's our second time pulling that card. Uh, I, I shouldn't be disappointed, but like, you couldn't have given me something we didn't have. I'm gonna be the only person on the internet ever to be upset at getting this card. We're, oh, did I just skip the animation? Oh, nice. I'm sorry if this triggered any of you. <laughs> hey, but we take those. Maybe our money spent wasn't all for nothing. Again, when trading does come into the game, I now have two of them. So if someone wants to uh, offer me something, I'm still looking for that Gengar. Was this the Shining Pack? Rattata? Sandslash? Man, if I get one more Executor. I have so many. Persian? Come on. What is this? Pack four? Pack seven is here. Okay. Go Lurk. Clobopus? Still don't know how to say your name. Man, if you watch my 100 Charizard pack opening, you would know I got way too many of those Charmanders. There's also something in here, though. Melmetal, what's it caught? Oh, never mind. I'm seeing things. Oh, no. Are we really ending off with nothing? Okay, I'm not mad. We'll take that. We will definitely take that. And just like that, that is going to be our last packs for the video. That Starmie is brand new. Okay. But now after today's video, we have officially crossed over the 200 Pokemon 
Mark. And honestly, I'm really enjoying this game. If you guys want to see more, make sure you subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.